Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. We're going to look at the Ica Stones. Now, what are the Ica Stones? Ica Stones are merely Peruvian burial stones. Now, uh, Ica Stones, when they were first discovered, about one-third of these bur burial stones, somewhere around one-third, had dinosaur pictures. And I'm talking about like Brontos and Trisoratops and T-Rex pictures on there, on these Ica stones. And they found several hundred of them, and there actually became like an Ica stone museum. Now, they became so popular, some of the natives began doing their own Ica stones, so to speak. And, you know, putting them together and drawing stuff on there to sell to tourists and even to scholars and this type thing. But, and so now there's been a, a lot of confusion and some in the archaeological scientific community, maybe even the majority, now say the Ica stones are all false. But I'm going to tell you, if you study like Don Patton, he's done a lot of research on the Ica stones and going to museums, getting letters from museums to examine the Ica stones. When you watch it you really realize that uh, especially initially these were true and it totally undercuts the narrative that humans and dinosaurs never lived together but it would be perfectly consistent with the worldwide flood dinosaurs on this massive ark and being preserved to it for several hundred years maybe even to the thousand years I'm going to show you some more pictures of Ica stones here and uh, I mean, you've got everything from pterodactyls, brontos, T-Rexes. And you know, this would be consistent with like the Nazca lines and these type things. We'll just look at some different Ica stones here. And so now you can go on eBay and buy false Ica stones like all day long. But again, that doesn't negate that seemingly, if you follow the evidence, there were real Ica stones and there were real uh, Peruvian burial stones that began, that showed uh, dinosaurs and humans together. And there's many non-Christians that are convinced of the authenticity of the Ica stones as well. I did a little book review about the amazing Ica stones. It was written by a non-Christian. So the Ica stones, I think properly interpreted, do show us uh, great proofs of creation, even if all of them ever turned out to be false. And I do find it interesting that every time a great discovery, you know, immediately the falsification process begins and uh, just to jumble people's minds. Oh, it's been questioned. Look, you need to realize just because something's questioned doesn't mean it's been disproven. Those two are totally different things. But a lot of people think, oh, there's a question about that, so you can't use it as evidence. Well, really studied. I've studied the Ica stones at length, and it does seem like many of them were true at the beginning. But again, even if they were uh, find out do they weren't true the word of God is true believe this book the Ica stones want to present them you can do your own study and uh, just be careful the algorithms on uh or the logarithms on Google and all this. A lot of times, you know, it used to push the Christian viewpoint. Now it puts them at the bottom. So a lot of times it'll be like, oh, those are all false. That's the first thing that comes up when you punch in Ica stones. So just be aware of that. God bless. Love you.